During this pandemic, much of the focus has been on public health, the safety of workers and our economy, and rightfully so. This virus has heightened concerns about our health, and many are wondering how they will put money on the table. However, in amongst this stress and worry, this virus has shown more than ever the need for joy, entertainment, relaxation and fun, socialisation and connections. For me, this means music. Music is an incredible thing. It creates happiness and inspires hope. It tells of love, community. It gives voice to protest. At times, inspires us to dance and sing along. <laughs> music puts words and sounds to every emotion and every cause. For many, myself included, music has been such a big part of lockdown. And at a time when people's mental well-being has been under enormous stress and loneliness is widespread, music has often been a common source of support. For those who live alone, it has filled their homes with sound, brought back memories of happier times and kept them going throughout. For me, I've had huge enjoyment listening to some of my favourite artists performing online gigs, such as Katie Tunstall, James, and a special concert of Irish musicians in support of the Irish stuck in Australia on temporary visas during this pandemic. On top of this, Durham Music Service have been teaching children across the county songs and how to play instruments. And I've even signed up to their online ukulele sessions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look forward to that. Lead on the <laughs> That's the next, yeah, next, when I'm back in September, let's see how good I am. Then there's the artists whose music has impacted on so many people during this crisis. In the North East, Sam Fender has had his song Dead Boy nominated for the Ivor Novello Award because of his ability to reach out to young men contemplating suicide. And my friend Nadine Shaw, whose music covers the plight of refugees, sexism and racism. Now, more than ever, the world needs singers, songwriters and poets to use the medium of song to open our eyes and ears to the reality of the world. I welcomed the investment the government has announced for the arts, even if it arrived far later than it should have, and too late for some. And now that outdoor music is returning, it's important that local communities support these events, socially distanced, of course. Mm. I'm looking forward to supporting artists myself, and soon can't wait to watch Katie Tunstall at a drive-in gig in Manchester. There'll be plenty of live outdoor music in Durham this summer and it's important that every member does their bit to support local artists across the country. Although, given that Johnny Moore tried to forbid David Cameron from constantly saying that he's a Smiths fan, I would like to remind the remaining members of The Clash that the Prime Minister is a fan of theirs, apparently. <laughs> However, while most music is about enjoyment and entertainment, a pastime that sustains our lives. For many, it's also their source of income. Whether music is their main salary or if it is a top-up to their existing income, it's vital that as MPs we look to support musicians, artists, venues, technicians and roadies in the coming months. Music is nothing without them. For in the time it takes for society to gradually reopen, plenty will be wondering whether they can survive as musicians and artists in this environment, and that will be a great loss. While the government has provided some support to the arts, it's not enough to inject some cash and allow limited shows to resume. Too many artists will be left without an income. I'm not asking the government to proceed recklessly, as if coronavirus had never happened. I'm asking them to do more for individual artists. Musicians and artists don't need blanket support. They need tailored financial help that enables them to survive this crisis. They need to be assured that a local lockdown won't leave them out of pocket, that a lack of physical gigs won't put an end to their careers altogether, and they need to know that they will be supported to be innovative. Above all, they need to know that we, as a society, value their cultural contribution. Without help, we risk losing a generation of artists 
And once they are lost, it will be very difficult, if not impossible, to get them back. Mm -hmm. The time to act is now. In the words of Tim Booth from James, to musicians and poets everywhere, let's inspire, let's inflame, create dreams from our pain. Music has kept us going during this pandemic. Let's work together to make sure it's still there when this is all over. Thank you. Well done.